Sister. 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 What the hell did I just hear? Why would she scream that loudly and not even mind it? The hell is wrong with people these days. Please do. Not gonna pull a scam in here. Don't we don't. Scam. We don't switch though. We're gonna switch her stuff. Come on. We escorted her out, and now she can do her karate on someone else. They switching diamonds? How the hell would I be so sure that you're not the one that's switching it? Let's just move on. Number two. Karen attack. A woman storms in the store and goes straight to the window, all angry and in a hurry as well. She is going nowhere if she proceeds with such actions. But check. It out. Kills me. Yes, um, my boyfriend timed my TV, um, and I need it back. I don't got no slip or nothing, but I need my TV. You have to wait in line. I ain't waiting in line. He took my TV. I woke up this morning and it was gone, and I need it back. You sure it's here? Yeah, he told me it was here. He didn't give you the ticket? No. Mm -mm. I can't help you without the ticket, and if it's not in your. Y'all do something in this mother. If you boyfriend is the jerk in this story, then how the hell is everyone getting the scolding he deserves? Someone explain that shit, please. Since it's uh -uh. not legal for us to look up no. somebody else's look name. Look up my TV, lady. No, I will not. Don't, uh -uh. Don't do that to me. Bring your ass out here and talk to me. I can't give a damn. Well, you better give it to me. Damn it. She's ready to get all up in Ashley's face. What a stupid one, to be honest. I just know that a security guard will be spawning right behind her in a bit. Don't you take my comb! You need to put yourself together because you're acting like a crazy girl. Bye! Bye. Her voice is very high pitched. I just couldn't hear anything else at that moment, and it was annoying. But she definitely is the epitome of a Karen. Number three, not pawned. A woman walked in to get out her golf clubs, but there was an issue that she either forgot or the shop caused by mistake. Let's see. You Possible. Sold them. Why would I be talking about this if I sold them? I don't know. You did not know what you were doing. I clearly have a clear head, and I've been sober a lot longer than you're today. If you passed your drug test, I don't think so, honey bun. So here's, here's, here's the record. Sir, yes. it would be very amazing if you get off your ass and have your things look for them. I just know, I know for sure, that with this attitude, she will be going nowhere. Les was trying to help, but I don't think that's going to happen anymore. It would be very amazing if you get off your ass and have your thugs look for them. Let me make this perfectly honest. Uh, let me let make me it perfectly clear. Anyone everybody. down on the lock, you make big fat money off of in your Jewish ways. What did she just say? And that's where it all goes downhill. Disrespecting someone's religion is definitely not a smart move. I just sense the backlash. This bitch had to go. Ma'am, no. go f yourself. Toxicity keeps on leaking from her mouth. If she can just shut the hell up, everything, and I mean everything, would be all right. Thank God she's out. Number four, text addict. A woman walks in wanting to purchase a watch that's of interest to her. So let's see if she gets the price she's aiming for or not. Check this out. Full cut stones. Ladybug oh, that's design. That's really nice. Mother of Pearl dial. Thousand bucks. Give me a second. You know, I've been around on Earth for a while now, and I have never seen someone answer a text in the middle of a freaking negotiation or sale. That's low. You need to take that? Yes, I need to take this. Man. What's going on? Excuse me? I'm here to buy a watch. I'm not here for you to be all up in my texting. Trying to rush people? I'm not trying to rush you. You are trying to rush me. Oh, God. This woman is such an idiot. I mean, you were the one trying to initiate a conversation about what's going on in your phone. So what did you expect? Well, Give me my watch. I have well, a great well, day. Because well, I ain't got time for this. You know what? Kiss my <laughs> 
she got outside so I could damn transform. Wig flew off. She showed a darn king starter kit. It was terrible. Don't forget about your wig. Have a good day. Leave me alone. Now that wig being pulled out was not expected at all, not gonna lie. This woman is such an idiot for causing a scene out of nothing. Number five, small size. Two women walk in wanting to buy a coat, but for some reason one of these two girls thinks her size is a small, while it's obviously not. Any uh, color you particularly like? Yeah, I like that one right over here. The brown one right yeah, there. Yep. Yeah, Absolutely. I like that one. Really nice. Absolutely, you wanna try yeah. it on? Yeah, let me see here. So help me on this. Yeah. I like this. Oh, oh. Wait, 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 yeah. You sure this is a small? It's a, it's a, it's actually a medium. This has got to be extra small. She wears a small. We go oh, shopping no, together all the time. Sure she is. I don't know if her friend is delusional or easily manipulated, because she is obviously not a small, no matter how much you try convincing Oos. You want to take a look at another one, guys? I want a oh. small. Okay, I guys. wear a small. Oh, I can't even get my own damn arm in this one. Oh, hell no. Is there somebody else that we can talk to that knows what is they're doing around here? On. I want a small. I wear a damn small. Why are you yelling? I bet she took it personally because she knows this isn't true at all. But let's hope you one day reach your dream of being a size small. Uh, hell right, well you no! Talk to my you friend like that! Hell no! Hell no! Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! Hell no! Hell no! Bye, Crystal! Have a nice day. Make sure you get a booster seat. All through she got on my nerves. This woman's personality is just pure gold. In a funny way, of course. But thank God she's out of here. Number six. Mad woman. A woman walks in all mad because she picked out a ring and put the money back. But she wants to put it in layaway and get her money back. Which does not work. I want my money back. I don't want no in-store credit. Do you have your receipt? Yes, I got my damn receipt. This right here. Okay. So you want a cash refund, you said? Yes, I did. Okay. It says Get no it cash. I'm sorry, but it's on your receipt. If you want money down on a layaway, we don't do refunds. We just store credit. First of all, I'm so thankful that she has a receipt because this would be way more tiring to explain to her very little mind. I don't want to make no payments. This is a bull. I just want my refund. Can I get my damn refund? I can get loud just like you and make a scene if you want. Or you can act like a lady. Right on Ashley, because this woman just became way too loud for my ears, and at this point they will bleed because of all that shouting. You can leave. Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. I want to be in this place anyway. I get my later. If you want me to help you out, you need to come back at a different day, a different time, so we can handle business. Poor little Ashley. This woman got all up in her face for no freaking reason, as if she owns the store and we didn't know. Well, thank God she's out of here for good. Number seven, broken TV. A woman walks in with a fully cracked TV, and she's claiming that she bought it yesterday, as it is now, as if they will sell her a broken one, and she would accept it. Did you drop it? No, I did not drop it. Bought it with a crack on it like that? Yes, I did. I don't know if you bought it from us. It don't look familiar to you? It looks like a TV, so yeah, in that sense, it looks familiar, but... And it took my DVD. You not only owe me $50, but you owe me for my DVD. Oh, that's hella bold for sure. You better watch what the hell you're saying, honey. We all know you're just lying to get yourself some extra cash. Nice try. Do I need to get loud? No. Why not? Really? I don't, I don't need your help on this one. Thank you. Mom. Who are you? I'm Ashley, and who the hell do you think you are looking me I'm up and down? Sure. Um... um Seth, I really think you should chill. Like, why the hell would you talk to Ashley like that? The hell is wrong with you. She's here to save your ass. I'm gonna get the best service in the world. There you oh, go. Oh, you gotta put it on the ground? There you go. That was f***ing rude. Huh? What you do that for? <laughs> Unreal. Makes no sense. Anybody wanna buy a TV? You want a TV? Go home. Oh, damn. She's like walking her dog just now. Who would drag a TV behind them like that? This just shows how much of an idiot you are. Number eight, get Chad. A woman walks in screaming nonstop searching for a guy named Chad, and apparently he works in the store. If he does, he's fired for sure. Can you please get him? I'm sorry, but who Can are you? you? Just get him for me. <laughs> and so what's this regarding? Um, if he's my boyfriend and he's out paying child support. Your that's girlfriend. Why yes, I need him. He's working. I need some money, so he need to come out here. I'm Chad's boss. Okay, well, so. I need him. Boss. You're making your baby look bad, honey. So get your acts together or you will be paying the price for sure. Good luck. Y'all playing games with me now? 
That's Chad. This lady is out of her mind. Y'all gonna play with my intelligence like I'm crazy? Ma'am, that's the only Chad I have on No. Family. I have a store full of people. There's a long line. This woman keeps getting louder and louder and louder. I really think you should because I don't think there's ever going back from this shit, to be honest. And no, honey, we are definitely not testing your intelligence. We know there's none. Over there. A little bit further. You ain't about to keep playing with me. Uh, on the other side of that car. You gonna show Where me? You Ch Chad, wait a minute, Chad. What about the kids, Chad? Chad, don't, don't run. Man, I'm about to go hamburger on y'all fools, for real. Rumor has it that she kept on walking for centuries and centuries and never found where Chad is. I just hope she would rest and get over it one day. Nice play, Seth. Number nine, fake Gucci. This lady is going to pawn off a phony handbag. Alternatively said, it's a phony Gucci, but her confidence tells you that it's worth a lot after all. Get a loan on it or you guys can buy it. I'm trying to sell it for maybe like 150. 50 bucks. Why is it $50? The certificate and everything is in there. And the bag costs actually way more than that. Well, if you can tell, it's actually stained all through here. I'm trying to sell it for $150 or get a loan. $75 instead of the $50. For heaven's sake, why the hell is she not realizing that this trash can be pawned for a whopping $50? Listen to the facts only. If you know purses, then you know this is cost way more than this. Okay, but I'm not going to pay you for the amount that you think it's worth because it's stained. This is not one of the newer ones. This is not this season. I know about purses. But is, you still willing to buy for $50, though. So if it wasn't worth it, why would you even say $50? Can I talk to somebody else? I'm going to talk to your pepperoni looking ass. Can I get somebody My else? pepperoni looking ass. Ask pepperoni looking. If that qualifies as roasting at all, that's a whole new way to do it. Ashley, nevertheless, is going to eject you from the store. You leave me. Can I get somebody else to talk to? It don't even matter. I don't have to talk to you. And I don't have to talk to you either, so why don't you go home? Can I talk to the owner? I'm the owner. You're that not one. the owner. The owner is the other man. You you must have. How you get here? You f***ed your way to the top. F*** you. Ashley, get a freak on her. Her attractive pepperoni should really know better. If not, I'll visit the business personally to impart knowledge to the person who surmounted all obstacles. Number 10, new recruit. A mother and her son walk in because the mother wants to sell her wedding ring since she got divorced. She needs the cash to keep on living and hustling, so let's check it out. It's going to be under 1000 under a thousand. Why? Well, because you have a little chip on the side of your stone. A chip? Yes, ma'am. There's no chip on this ring. Show me. I don't see no crack. Oh, God. Oh, no. Leslie, you better be careful with what you're doing because we just saw how crazy this woman can get. She literally wanted to check herself, lol. Stan, you don't know a damn thing. You get to take everybody that walks in this place and you screw up. Poor woman. No husband. You want to try to hustle me. You must think I'm stupid. Yeah, mom, let's go. This is, this wait, this I'm not going. Yeah, this go is stopping works. me. Hey, what? This this man's wait, wait, wait. seven foot tall. Oh God, I don't know where the hell Ashley came from all of a sudden, but why is everyone ganging up on this woman and her kid, lol? I just feel bad that I'm laughing about this. Come on outside! Bring it on! You don't know who you're messing good. with! Get on over here! Damn it! Oh, you're powerful. Wow, what are you? Oh, wow! Get your ass! I think we just found a new recruit for our security team. That boy is good. That bot is good indeed. Damn, he held her like she weighs nothing. But we all know she weighs way more than nothing, lol. I'm just glad he was there with her, because if he wasn't, shit was about to go down. Number 11, purse owner. This woman enters the store and says she wants her purse returned immediately, saying it is one of the ones on display. Honey, hold your horses. That's my purse right there. That one right there is black one. So I wanna know why it's out there. This is your purse. That's my purse right there. How do you know that's your purse? Because I know my purse. If you don't give me the purse, I'm gonna climb over the counter and get it myself. Overcome the counter and do it on your own. If you don't get yourself together, you'll end up going outside but staying inside. Can I look at it? You wanna buy it? I just wanna look at it and make sure it's not mine. Okay, first of all, I'm, I'm not, not first of all, don't talk to me like I'm a at idiot. You. Give me my purse or I'm gonna come over that counter and get it myself. What's it gonna be? Okay. Oh my god. Sure, she wasn't thinking clearly when she did that. But our guy Byron will take her brain out of her ass and put it back where it belongs. Have a nice day. Let's go. Walk oh, yourself out, young. Yeah. You. You know you just hit me with that pole, right? Go. Bitch. Go where you got to go. I'm gonna kick your go. ass. You wait. Go. Without a doubt, this woman was a handful. I mean, every time she opened her blasted lips without any purpose, I felt exhausted and discussing logic, act reasonable in God's sight. Number 12, no ticket. This woman comes straight up to the window to get her ring out, but guess what? She has no ticket whatsoever. So what really is she doing here? You have your ticket with you? Um, no, I don't have my ticket. They didn't give me one. Well, I'm sure they would have. Well, I don't have it. Yep, you are not in the system. 
It, sh- it got to it got to be here. I don't know what to tell you. I got to be in the system. Can how you, you doing? please look? So you came here about how long ago? I came here two months ago. And we gave you how much on it? It was like it was three thousand dollars. Yeah. The moment she said that, I just knew she never came here at all because no pawned ring is actually paid this much for. I'm in a mother system. Look it up again. Don't throw my at me. Can I talk to somebody else? You're talking to the person. Can I talk no. to somebody you else? Can't. Dr. Tuck, cut your ass back there behind that mother window. Don't throw my it's about to go down, everyone. We just love to see Seth walking out to scold this stupid ass woman like that. Good luck. I want my f- ring! Get me my ring! I want my ring! She likes that pole. I want my ring! Go back it on the pole! Have a good day. I want my ring! I need my ring! Bitch! Yeah, this did not work out at all, honey. Your non-existent ring is definitely not in this store, and I hate to break it to you, but all that shit is based on delusion.